Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Uh, it was first five minutes of my speech already here, but still, I'm the biggest seller of games in the world. In the past five years, we sold 15 million of digital game copies. Just a year ago, we launched Skins Cash. It's already the second largest platform to trade virtual items in the world. Traded over than 12 million of those. Our new project, DMarket, will turn every virtual item into the real commodity. I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, right now, more than gaming industry reached more than $100 billion in 2016. More than 2 billion people play games every day. Whatever we do in our life, being a banker, lawyer, a journalist, we always invest our time, energy, and experience trying to emerge with some new experience and sometimes new assets. When we and 2 billion people every day play games, usually every minute spent in a game also brings back new assets, virtual items. It could be a pile of crystals, a fancy car, or just a laundry machine. But at this moment, there is no way to trade or exchange all these assets among billions of players in the world. Imagine that there is a hidden economy cluster with billions of buyers, sellers, billions of items, warehouses, production sites, but enormous demand and proposition, but technologically limited to trade. Uh, is there anyone in this room who ever played Country Strike, Dota 2? Okay, so we are there. Among 6% of all gamers in the world, who have the chance to trade some of our virtual items from our games. And we turn over more than $3 billion annually. On our platform, Skins Cash, we sell around 50 to 60,000 of virtual items every day. And dozens of those cost thousands of dollars each. What if we can give this opportunity to the rest gamers in the world? I see the market worth hundreds of billions of dollars. We've been thinking for a pretty long time, how can we connect the other games to the marketplace to enable this possibility? But with all technologies, uh, first we had to connect different game developers and publishers to the marketplace. And then we had to synchronize their databases each time with each exchange of an item with each other. Millions of operations per second, it was hardly or even impossible to do. Another thing is, when we're building and turning virtual items into real commodities, where do I find a notary to verify my ownership of an item or a trade of an item? And that's where the magic of blockchain comes. We're building a decentralized marketplace to enable one-click trade, exchange, or evaluation of any virtual item in any game on any platform. Game developers will easily connect to our marketplace using API. They will uh, have increased revenues, they will have increased lifetime value of every gamer, and they will gain from increased marketing. And the gamers will finally enter the world economy with all their virtual items. Uh, as for me, for in the past year, I played uh, a lot of Witcher 3. That's a perfect game. That's a piece of art, to be honest, really. I spent a lot of hours, my uh, energy and some experience, even tried luck. And I had a lot of items starting from shield, horse, even underwear. What could be done with those items for now? Nothing. They just leave their useless. But with D-Market technologies, I would be able to exchange my items to a fancy car from another game with a fellow player, which I want to play right now. Or at the end, I will be able just to sell these items, take the money, and go for a date. I totally understand this is not a gaming conference. I've been on many. We're signing agreements with game developers and moving to another game developing conferences. Here it's more blockchain and fintech. And I'll show you how the market and blockchain will change the life of everybody else in this room very soon. Imagine that in a couple of years you will search for gloves in an online store, being at Amazon or any kind of a local one. You will get a result from your search query, 10 gloves, half of those, will be real gloves from the retail stores, but half will be gloves from popular computer games. You will be able, which ones you like best, which look better in your virtual reality, and maybe to present to your, to your fellow player or gamer or anybody else. 
today, a lot of fashion designers are creating special collections for retail stores like H&M or whatever. They are gaining a lot of attention and enormous sales. Imagine in a couple of years, Kim Kardashian creating a limited collection of boots for a popular computer game. They will be stored on blockchain. You will see how many exactly were created, not able to fake or forge it. And you will be able to show it off. Imagine the demand for that collection. As my co-founder already told you, that's uh, booming uh, esports right now. In 2016, they uh, paid more than $100 million in prize money and 10 times more in sponsorship. It's booming. If to compare with American football, where uh, the market of memorabilia reached billions of dollars, that will be the same in esports very soon. And imagine when we will give the opportunity for the fan to start a collection of the gloves of, of his favorite champion who won the championship in 2016 and maybe in 2017. How much this collection will be worth in five years? Uh, as I have already told you, we sell a lot of computer games, 15 million in the past five years. And to be honest, more than 10,000 even yesterday. 70% of those games are two, three, or even more years old. There is a huge demand on old games, and thus a huge demand on an items from an old games. If there will happen something uh, unexpected in your life, you will be able to turn your wallet in the market upside down, gather all the items you ever harvested in uh, supported games, and sell it in kind of a garage sale. Uh, the last but not least, uh, everybody right now is talking about um, uh, electric cars. I'm a big fan of Tesla, for example. What's the, one of the big benefits of that is zero carbon footprint. Obviously, we can beat zero with virtual cars. You can buy it, start the collections of Ferrari, you can even go faster than the speed limit in virtual reality, and it's still, will not need any effect, gigawatt factories, logistics, warehouses, and etc. We will make them better than real. Uh, anybody has kids in this room? Okay, I'm 100% sure they play a lot of games, many hours, maybe even now, to be honest. Uh, today, they can just have fun and spend their time, but what if in a couple of years, they will be able to earn something from their experience, skills, and I don't know, yeah, definitely there will be some kids willing rather to pay the shortcut than to earn something, but not the kids from this auditory. What if the day will come, somebody will come to Papa and say, hello, this is the new iPhone for you, I earned it. Uh, that was just a little example of what could be done with blockchain, D-market, and booming gaming industry. I honestly believe that in half, maybe five or ten years, most of the industries will run on blockchain. Uh, we here in Ukraine, we have a couple of industries packed with brain power on top-notch world level. That's in IT, blockchain, esports, and gaming. I was born and raised in Ukraine, and I will happily contribute to the community. Please, don't hesitate. Come to our booth. We already have a pretty uh, successful approach with the market. We raised $11 million in our short first phase ICO in uh, August. We're moving towards November. Well, when main phase happens with the alpha version of the marketplace and the test net. Come to our booth, to me or to my colleagues. We will share the experience, the expertise, the networking. Let's build the blockchain world together. Uh, there was a time for questions and answers, but as far as I understood, uh, somebody stole those minutes from me. So if you have any questions, please come to the booth. Don't hesitate. I will happily answer and help. Thank you.